what's up, girl? Cause I'm gonna throw it down, eat it, oh, go down, eat it, oh, take it down, 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 eat it, oh, let me switch up the tempo, let me switch up the tempo, let me switch up the tempo, I wanna switch up the tempo, can I switch up the tempo, switch up the tempo, can I? Money back. See how I got these brows nice waxed and thick please keep watching excuse like my eyebrows they're kind of sensitive right now so I'm actually gonna put a little bit of oil on it um yeah so um, now is the part where I'm going to show you guys how to do your brows using a pencil or a gliding stick. Now the gliding stick usually comes with this a spoolie at the bottom of it so that you can pick the hairs and get them <clears throat> But before I do that, um, I did want to try the Calamine lotion on the eyebrows because one thing about using... The glide sticks, sometimes they can be a little waxy, meaning they can be shiny later on and you that's something you really don't want for a brow. So I'm gonna take this Calamine lotion, this is a hack too. And we're going to, cause I just put that oil on my eyes, which I should have never did, but my eyes are irritating. So um, I'm gonna take that and just go right here. This is where I hate like for it's a shine. Like these are my worst spots right here. I hate when people eyebrows shine right there. Like that is not cute. I remember on my birthday, I made a mistake and did that and it was not cute at all. It was ugly. I didn't like my makeup for my birthday. I was rushing it and it didn't come out how I wanted it to. Okay, so now that we've blotted that out, we're gonna let that dry a little bit. I know I look crazy. I look like the mother from, uh, uh, what is it, um, the Adams family. I look crazy right now, especially with my big forehead, but we're gonna keep going. Now you see me. <laughs> okay. So you can skip this step. Um, or you could just substitute it for a setting powder if you have that or a pressed powder If you have like a pressed powder kit that comes like that You can just put that in your eyebrows and it'll make it more um, Matte because you would always want your eyebrows to be matte. Okay, that's the first thing So I actually have two brow pencils today um, I have the it cosmetics brow pencil and it's kind of thick, but it goes on a slant these are good for people who like really know how to do their brows because to me the thicker the applicator um the more error you can make so to show you guys i'm gonna take this milani uh the milani precision brow and medium brown this is an all drugstore so you could find these at target you could find them at walmart you can find them at um walgreens anywhere literally what I usually do first is um, I take my brow and I start right about here. So you start here and you want to outline. And I usually go from the bottom because The bottom is way more easier to like outline. So I go from the bottom first and then I line up in the middle. I don't start right here because if you start right there, it's going to look boxy. And I know you guys have probably seen a lot of girls who have like them thick boxes. Like that is not how it's supposed to look. It should look almost ombre into your face. Okay. 
Then I'm gonna go in with the second one. And like I said, I'm just gonna line that up at the bottom. Since I've already arched my eyebrows, they look kind of decent. So I don't have much to do. And like one of the great gurus on YouTube says, he says that eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters. So we need to make these at least relatable. Like they, they ain't gotta be stepsisters now. They, they, they could be sisters, but they ain't gotta be stepsisters. See, this one is always the perfect one, always. I always have a problem with this one for some reason. And then I'm gonna just start filling that in. Like I said, you wanna make sure these tails are very dark, very dark. I don't even care if you barely touch the beginning of your eyebrow, cause that doesn't matter. Actually, the less you touch it, the more natural it's gonna look. Y'all see how different that look? It's all right, I'm gonna fix it. And that's another thing, like if you get frustrated that your eyebrows don't look the same at the moment that you start doing it, that frustration can really screw you up. Like you'll be trying to make them even for hours when you just could have let it be and you just could have carved it out once you were done. Now me having a big forehead, I probably should take these in a bit more because the closer together your eyebrows are, the less big your forehead looks, okay? And that's just a, a trick. Y'all gotta excuse my background. Those things about to fall. They're about to fall real soon. Real, real, real soon. I know I look a little crazy right now, but y'all gonna see the finished product. Okay. And I'm not gonna do mine too thick because I don't really care for a really thick brow. It also depends on what color stick you use. This is a medium brown. So now I am going to take a flat brush now you can get these at any beauty supply store mine is flat because i've already used it and guess what i like it like that because i want it to be flat enough enough product on it so where it's flat enough where i don't have to keep messing with it i'm gonna take one of my favorite um concealers this is by elf um, this is again, one of those products that you can get at, you probably can get it at the dollar store too. Um, but I do know for sure they have it at Walmart. It's a drugstore brand. And I must say that it's probably better than like a lot of those, um, expensive brands that I'll be wearing. Like it's probably up there with them, but I just take a little and I dab it on the brush. Now, when I say dab, I mean literally dabbing it on the brush. I don't need the whole concealer on there because that can get you in a lot of trouble. So now I'm going to out, this is the, this is the, this is the big one. Now, when you're carving out your eyebrows, all you want to think about is seamless perimeter, okay? Now, if you know any math, you know that the perimeter means round around the surface. So just think about the arch that you want. Don't even look at the black part. Just think like, ooh, I could clean this up right here. Or just think of like the McDonald's sign. Just think of oval. Just think, just think circle. Like just think half circle. Okay. So when starting from the bottom, I do like to come in, not too close, but very, very close. This is when we're gonna clean it up. Now, this is a straight line I'm doing. 
but eventually I'm going to I'm actually it's best to take like a close mirror for this I'm actually going to take this in and it's best to hold your eyelid up when you hold it up, it gives you a better view of exactly what you're cutting. You feel me? Like, you'll see exactly what it is you're cutting. Tell me how you own it. top brow but I'm gonna mix the top brow woo, with my foundation the foundation is always going to be darker than your concealer and you want to make sure that you don't have a halo eye above the eyebrow so I'm just going to take this tube dab it in there and mix it with that so we can make like a base medium and then I'm going to start from the inner because I do want to look kind of mean. I want that mean look. See that? And then we're gonna go on this side. And do the same exact thing. Go in. And as I'm pressing in, I'm just turning to do my angles like that. That is not something you want to spend a lot of time on because no matter how of a good makeup doer you are, you're always going to come to a point where you can't do your eyebrows completely 100% together. Now, um, I usually use more concealer at the bottom, but because I do have on my um, lashes and stuff, I'm just going to put that, take that little and blend it in. Now is the time where you blend it. You always want to take a foundation brush or a concealer brush. Um, I used to use a lot of beauty blenders. If you're a beginner and if you feel like you want more control with the beauty blender, that's fine. But me personally, you're going to get a more skin-like finish if you use a brush. So now I'm just going to go in and simply blend it in. It's literally not going to take much. Make sure you surprise right now. Like, oh, I really did it. Like, it wasn't even that hard. Like, just think of me when you're doing your brows. Remember that part when it comes to blending. And you really just want to punch it in. Don't get too close to your lines. Because if you get too close to your lines, you're going to mess up your whole little look. You don't want to do that. Then we're going to blend that in at the top, baby girl. Blend that in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, girl. Okay. And you can always go back in with your, stu what is this called? Whatever it's called. And just like, you know, play with that so it can look like it's coming directly from the middle of your head. Because remember, this still got residue on it. Let's see. I'm just trying to get this to blend out a little bit more. Because we have a lot of product right there. My 
eyelashes doing crazy stuff. So just bear with me. And my thing in the background for the come out. Okay. Now that I'm almost done, um, I usually like to take some highlighter. Okay. You don't have to do this. This is optional. Um, but I take the highlighter and I place it right above my eyebrow bone. This is what's going to make it look like it's popping. Like you're going to be able to see me. And you just pop it right, like right under that, um, brow bone. This is going to give you that, like, look, make it look like you, um, like you've arched your eyebrows. And it, it, it brings attention to your eyebrows. And then you make sure you just blend that in. You see, like once the camera hits it, it looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna take some and put it in the tear dots because I need to wake up a little bit because I'm already glowed up here. Okay. Take a little bit of more of my Huda Beauty. This is her one of her duo, no, tri one of her trios. It came with a lipstick and a lip liner and this gloss. And I just love it. It's so cute. It's like the hieroglyphics. But yeah. Uh, I can let you guys see without the lights. Let's see. Without the big light, this is how it looks. Okay. Um, okay, this is the final look. This is how I get like my super cute, super um, fleek eyebrows. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I had so much fun playing in my dollar store stuff. Um, again, it was only a dollar, but I would definitely keep up with the stuff. Like I'm going to make sure I touch up on my eyebrows, make sure that I stay waxing them. Like why pay $50 to get your eyebrows tinted and waxless and you can do it yourself. Like I'm never paying them again. <laughs> oh, and shout out to Kiss Honey. Kiss came through. Look at my nails. No, but these are so freaking cute. They're so cute, like five minutes to do these, literally like five minutes. And they just, they're just so pretty to me. I paid like $6 for them at um, Walmart. So no, a lot of girls like me, we can't go to the salon. We can't go to get our nails done, lashes done, eyebrows, none of that. So I hope this was helpful. This is how I got these brows and um, I think that's it for now. Um, like I said, stay tuned. I do have two more tutorials coming for you guys. I will be showing you guys how to do a sleigh brow using powder or eyeshadow and also using a pomade. And yes, the pomade is from the dollar store. Hope you guys stay tuned to see that. And I'm super excited to even film that. Um, thank you guys. Bye. Cover that dirty, might take me a perk 30. Gotta watch out for who love me, and the same people who hurt.